to your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering the history taking station, can you begin? Okay, I, I take my hands and say, hello, good evening. I'm Dr. Fabian Odisa, one of the exam candidates. I've been asked to interact with you. May I confirm your name and your age, please? Yeah, I'm Mr. John. Uh, I'm 33 years old. Okay, nice to meet you, John. I'm going to ask you some, some question concerning your health condition. Um, yes. May I, okay. May I know how the, what the problem is? How may I be of help to you today, please? Well, doctor, uh, I come here because I have some uh, like growth, like in my, there in lower portion of my region, the groin swelling for about eight months. Oh, so sorry to hear that. So sorry. Please, which side of the groin is it? The left or the right? It is Don't... on the right side, doctor. Okay, okay. Now, this swelling, um, when first did you notice it? What, when was the first time you noticed the swelling? I noticed uh, like eight months ago. Okay, yes. Thank you. You said that before. Okay. Now, has it been progressing? Has it been... Has it been the same size from when it started, or it's just remained the same way as it was? Uh, no, it's um, it increasing day by day. It's not going away. Okay, okay. Was there any particular thing you were doing when you noticed that swelling in the first time? Do you have any idea, any idea of what really happened before the thing came up? Well, uh. Uh, once I'm working at the gym, okay. I'm carrying some of my weight, okay. then it becomes okay. prominent. And, and when I rest, and it reduced. Okay. okay. Do you have any difficulty with, um, your, um, with your water works? Any difficulty with passing? Or... No, no. I don't have any difficulty with that. Okay. What about your back passage? Any problem with that? No, I don't have any difficulty with that. Okay, do you have okay? Do you have cough, John? Um, yeah. Um, uh, sometimes, not every time. Okay, okay. All right, that's fine. Um, be, uh, before I go on, is there any particular thing you are worried about with respect to this um problem you have right now, John? Yeah, because I don't feel good having like this swelling and I don't find any um, comfortable with working with this okay. and it's painful. I understand how, how, how you feel. I can assure you that we are here to help you. After this our conversation, we are going to examine you and make sure we run some basic investigations to see how we are going to sort this problem out. Is that okay, Mr. John? Yes, please. Okay. Now, do you have pain at that side, that swelling on the right side? Yeah, nowadays it's become painful. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. The pain, is the pain sharp? Is it dull or does it come and go? It's calm. It, con it remains continuous right it's now. It's always continuous. So. So sorry to hear that. Um, do you think on a scale of um, zero to 10, with zero being no pain and 10 being the most severe form of pain, where can you grade this pain? It's six. 
mistakes. Do you think I should give you an adjustment now for us to continue? No, no, I can continue with you. Okay, that's no fine. That's fine, John. All right. Do you notice any redness around that area of the swelling? Any redness? Yes. Uh, that's why I'm coming here. It's painful and red. Okay. All right. No problem. We will sort it out. I will see what you can do when I examine you and know the extent it has gone. All right. Um, during this recent time, have you noticed you vomiting? Any vomiting? No. I don't have this kind of problem. Okay. Do you have abdominal distension? No, doctor. I don't. I'm completely fine with my tummy. Okay. Any uh, sorry, any tummy distension? Sorry about that, um, John. I'm supposed to say tummy. Sorry. So do no, you have? It's okay. It's okay. okay. All right. Thank you very much. Do you have fever, John? Uh, no, doctor. I don't have any fever right now. Okay. Now, since you have this problem and you are here to see us, what do you really? What are you looking out for? How do you think we are going to help you? Really? What are your expectations from us? To find out the cause and as it's painful, reduce my pain as soon as possible. Okay, that's fine. We are going to, we are going, I can assure you that we are going to get to it and we'll know what the problem is and we'll sort it out as much as we can. Um, before I go any further, I would like to ask you some personal questions, John. Is it okay if I go ahead? Yes, please. Carry okay. on. Okay, are you married, John? Uh, yes, I'm married. All right. Do you live alone at home or with your, with your, with your um, spouse? Yes, I'm living with my wife. Okay. All right. Fine. What is, what is your occupation, please, John? I'm a gym instructor. Okay. Instructor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you smoke? No. Okay. Do you take alcohol? No, doctor. Okay. Um, okay. Can you present would, your case now? Please. Okay. I would have. I would have loved to also um, take some other medical and surgical history from this patient and get a family whether there is any family history of similar condition. Yes. I have interacted. I've interacted with um, uh, Mr. John, a 33-year-old gym trainer who presented with right-sided joint swelling that has been that has progressively increased in size over the past eight months. It is currently associated with um, pain and redness over the swelling. My patient um, is a gym instructor and um, is a gym instructor and no um, sign suggestive of um, obstruction in this his current condition. Thank you. So all right, okay, so what are, your, what are your differential diagnosis for this patient? Okay, my differential diagnosis is um, an incarcerated right inguinal hernia. I, I, can, I, saw, I also thought of um, a, strangulated inguinal, a strangulated inguinal hernia. And um, I thought about um, um, a and a lymph, a lymph adenopathy, right inguinal lymph adenopathy. Yes, or yes, ma'am. Because there is redness, you abscess. can even include abscess. Abscess. Okay. abscess How yes, a hernia has taken place? Okay, hernia takes take place first? when hernia takes place when there is um, a defect in the wall of the containing um, cavity. There's an opening. There's an opening through which um, um, content of the of the abdomen of the tummy goes through that defect to the outside. How could this hernia be corrected or get? How could that get better? Okay, hernia can be corrected um, surgically, ma'am. Okay, what are the options that you can offer to this patient? Okay, the treatment, the surgical, the options could be um, open or laparoscopic. Um, procedure the open could be sutured or by the use of mesh. Mesh, um, the uh, laparoscopic could also uh, could also be the total uh, totally extra peritoneal um, okay. approach After or the transabdominal yes. After surgery, when do you think patient would be fit to get back to work as a gym okay. trainer? We as a gym trainer, trainer, the patient should get back to work after six months. Right. Thank you. Yes, uh, there were. It was not well prepared. 
I'm sorry to say that, yes. but uh, because I know you, you can do better, Dr. Fedon. You, uh, yes. this is not the first patient you have done with me. You I want to very, add very, something. Very, yes, please. You, you add first, please. Okay, ma uh, doctor, you did very well, but you missed some points. Okay. Like uh, during history taking, you uh, forget to mention the aggravating and relieving factor. But I told you, okay. And another during history, you uh, already there is mentioning he has genital urinary problem and he's taking stamina tonics, means he's taking some steroids. So it's very important to take the history of drugs history, okay, and, and his sexual history. Yes. And, and foreign travel. One history you, yes. And as there is swelling and pain, you should have to ask about the history of trauma, whether he has any trauma or not. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like so you have to, yes. Yes. And another question you have to ask whether the uh, swelling is appear or disappear. Okay. Yes. Okay. And uh, if uh, it dis and doesn't disappear itself, all. does the patient reduce it itself? Because uh, sometimes a uh, yes, patient, yes. uh, patient can reduce the hernia as well itself, you know, it doesn't go, go away itself, but then with cough, it comes back out. Yes, you wanted to add anything else, Dr. Inman? Yes, ma'am, otherwise it's normal. It's yeah, and fine. then I would request Dr. Fabian to go back and listen. Some of the questions were repetition. Again, uh, try because time is your enemy. You have to complete the whole history in six uh, minutes. So instead of repeating yes, the questions, ask a new question in that time. So organize your questions accordingly so that you can save your time and you complete your history. Yes, but then the things that you missed, uh, except for the medication history and travel history and trauma history, you did tell me at the end as well that if time would have allowed you, you would have completed with this. So some points you scored for that. Yes, Dr. Mahmoud, you have raised hand. Yes, thank you very much. Um, I have some observations. I think when he was asking the questions, at the point he asked about the concerns, but it seems that was the only thing he asked. He didn't ask about the patient's idea of the condition and then what the patient was yes. he wants the patient wants to be done for him. Yes. And then there was the terminology he used, um, waterworks. What was wrong with his waterworks? Uh, I, I think it would have been better if he used a more understandable term to the patient. Because waterworks may not uh, no, really, we use that um, as a layman. Le send the message to the patient. That can be. Oh, okay. Yes, that can be. Actually, ma'am, I asked. I asked her. I asked her. Does she have any idea of what happened before this thing um, yeah. started? I did. I asked about idea. I did that quickly at the beginning. Even expectation, I did also. Maybe he didn't get that. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter. But okay. then. Uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe he'll listen again and he'll realize. Or if you didn't, then okay. Then that's the feedback you got. So, yes. All right. Thank you. Anyone else? Dr. Duffer, do you want to add anything? I just, uh, it, is, uh, it is need to uh, well prepare. It is a difficult uh, station, Station, really. Yes. So he did, yeah, he did well. He uh, did I well. just, uh, I have just one point for the uh, um, diagnosis he got, he said, Firstly, incarcerated. Then he said, "Strangulated." Yeah. Strangulated. Uh, strangulated. It be. It mean obstructed. I cannot reduce. Would not be the. Yeah. Would not be the right diagnosis. Yeah. Um, why? So, why I said strangulated is because she said she's having redness. Um. If it's momentum that it is there, that is there. Yeah. The momentum can get strangulated too. Not necessarily. Um. Is you talk about obstruction. When it is um, failure of uh, yeah. an award movement, maybe power content. So many yeah. people can actually get strangulated. Okay, and you are and not you, you are absolutely right. But we have obstructed, incarcerated, strangulated. We should differentiate it between these. 
between this entity when you say it, is it triangulated it is the top emergency keep, keep it simple it. like you can yeah. give broad terminology i you suspect yeah. in right sided inguinal hernia and then since it's a young patient the next question could be what type of hernia do you expect is it direct or indirect and then like uh, if you'll keep it simple then simple questions will come for you if you'll make it difficult then they'll they'll also make make sure that you don't go through it easily okay then it won't be anyone's fault you know right 